Oh, no way. Got some oddball items out here. It's like a cookie jar. What the heck is this? Don't need that. Oh, let's take this. Hopefully not get hit by this car. Oh, no car. I don't know what the heck you put in here. This looks like a cookie jar. A little piece of copper. Don't need the other stuff. Hey, look, we have a box here. Uh, that's probably going to be scrap, but this thing I probably should put in there. I don't know what that is. Obviously, it's a pair. Oh, can't wait to listen to that thing roll around for a little bit. I don't need a popcorn popper, and then... No, we'll see what that this is. Made in Portugal. So I'm thinking, made in Portugal... There's uh, one chain. I don't know if it's Hobby Lobby. Lots of stuff comes from Portugal for that place. I don't know. Anyway, I'm so excited. It is another awesome day to do some garbage picking, some trash picking, some treasure picking out here. Beautiful weather. We are exactly at 70 degrees. You couldn't ask for a better day. And uh, let's find some cool things out here. And hopefully today will be an awesome day of treasure hunting. Let's do it. Well, I guess it's prime season for these. Now, this is the first one I found today, but it's not the first one I found this season couple weeks back we had a memorial day and I feel like a lot of people probably had you know what I'll put this in there I think I said I was going to scrap this probably still will scrap this being truthful I noticed being honest sometimes isn't the best thing to do on YouTube people like the whole drama and action and whatnot. People get into fights. That's what brings in the views. But I'm more of an honest guy rather than one of those people. Stay away from confrontation, stay away from all that kind of shenanigans. Anyway, um, yeah, it's so like this, this might actually not be scrap. Um, eh, it's in really good shape except for the inserts. Where's I going with this? Oh yeah, I've seen a bunch of these. They just burned the side of my leg. Yeah, wow, I did. Check out that. Pretty sure it's from just from now. That little redness. That was like instant. That top of that metal is scorching hot. And it just brushed me. But uh, with the holidays here, or what a holiday from like two, three weeks ago, a lot of people had Memorial Day parties. And uh, probably now they're getting rid of their grills. I was expecting to find a lot more around Memorial Day, but throughout the summer we'll find them. My jam just came on the radio and had turned the jams down so I can concentrate and pick up this uh, wonderful piece. That would be wood. This would not be wood. Looks like we also have a little piece of ice. That might work. Looks like it does work. I, however, will never use one of those. We've already determined how spreading salt on... I knew this thing was hiding on me. Ooh, one of those. I forgot what these were. These aren't uh, for scales. It might be. It's got little grooves on the side. Someone out there will let me know what that is. I thought it was for scales, but it might be completely wrong. 
have a light bulb. Which probably will break. But yes, we've determined that this spreading salt on a gravel driveway just does not work the same as spreading salt on an asphalt driveway or a concrete patio or a concrete anything. I can't remember the signs behind it, but we tested it last winter and now we live and learn. So I'll probably end up selling that. I don't really need to spread grass seed given that I have land. Grass just grows everywhere. It's not really universal grass. There's weeds involved. It's just like, it's a mosh pit of stuff. I mean, the manage to have grass that looks like that, not like that, but there are ones, other person's land, to have grass that looks like nice, anywhere USA, suburbia grass would probably cost an absolute fortune to have on my property. And to maintain it, well, you would probably see one video every six months from me just because I have to maintain that property for a million hours a month. Not physically possible, but it'd be possible. Well, that's a nice car. I assume it's garbage. Tell if this is bent like this or is it bent like this, like it's broken? Because if it's bent like this naturally, it's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool lamp. Uh, no, it's not, <laughs> it's brand new, and brand new, I mean, not new, but probably 2010-2015 era. It's literally just like unscrewed at the top. I thought it was bent over at 45 degree. I thought it looked kind of cool. I guess I'll have to walk this stuff a little bit. Suck the loser keys down there, I tell you that one. These I think these I think sell. I uh, had a bunch in the past. I can't remember. It's been a while since I grabbed one. grill I mean oh no way it's a freaking blow mold what in the world
That is so random. in it. Great. Didn't know that. I know I'm editing out a lot of this walking. Oh. It's got to be the heaviest iron board I've ever picked up. I'm editing out a lot of this walking. <laughs> no, I seen that. I knew you guys were working. I know that brake's expensive. Well, that, one, <laughs> that one, that one, not so much. Yeah. Maybe like the better one, I had a better one. Yeah, yeah. and like now you're good. The footer I yeah. had was better than that template. Jeez. Oh, I appreciate it. I tried to Thanks. put it all in one pile. Yeah, 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 I seen it. It was organized pretty nice. Hey, do you have any more of that Christmas stuff, by the way? Like, there's like a Christmas snowman. Uh, that hey, was, I told you somebody was a snowman. There's a Christmas tree in there. Nah, probably not. <laughs> But no, no blow up. Okay, yeah, yeah, like the plastic things? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Alright, I appreciate it though. Figure out ask. Alright, is that the no, that's it for the metal over there? Yeah, I mean You said it's a Christmas tree, you said? Yeah, I don't that's know if a it's a metal frame tree. though. Oh no, that's alright, then I'll just leave that. It's, it's a, actually a wooden frame, just the wires. Oh yeah, no, that's yeah, alright. Thank you, I appreciate it. I get kicked out of the scrap here if I take that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks again, guys. Appreciate it. Yep. All right. To my understanding, now we are in the second town, and the second town has their bulk pickup that they do three times a year. Pretty easy to metal. Look like ballasts. They're not ballasts, they are um, more pieces that I think go to a gutter ballast. By ballast, I meant light fixture. Uh, the blow mold is all right up there. So that was a nice score. I know those blow molds are still very, very hot. Um, I think I'm. I don't want to take that guy with me. Hold on, bud. Oh, jeez. Now he's in there. Oh, well. Just a spider, right? A lot of weird spiders I see in this van. Anyway, um, I might switch that blow mold out with one of the ones I have. Uh, they sell very, very quickly around here. And even if they're cracked, they still sell very quickly their chip they sell quickly I know I've kept a couple for myself that are in kind of rough shape um, kind of lost their color and that one looks absolutely mint so maybe if somebody doesn't want to give me $200 for it or 150 that you can probably get around here maybe I'll just end up keeping it so we got some carpeting some rug uh, it looks like there's a couch up here. There's also a couch. Some more carpet. I'll probably see some more bulk when we hit over here. So yes, I think I'm gonna come back tomorrow morning and try to do some trash picking. Unfortunately, my van is now full of stuff. Let's see what the heck this stuff is here on the right. See what this is. They usually throw away a couple pieces of metal. Kind of nice. They put it right by the road so you can see it. I don't know if these are the bottom one. No, it's not. This one still has the lock on it. I mean the key. No, it still has the lock. It has the key. So yeah, we're going to probably find some stuff tomorrow morning, I would bet. I know uh, 
this area did their, their metal day not too long ago. And I mentioned how they should definitely do their bulk pickup once a month. That would be awesome. But we'll probably make a run through here tomorrow morning. Maybe I'll even be able to document this road to show you guys how packed it will be with probably stuff. Uh, but a lot of people don't get their garbage out until later today. We're kind of the early bird. The first crew. If I told you I passed up a grill, would you guys believe me? Some of you probably would, some of you probably wouldn't. Alright. Alright. That thing stinks. Oh, it's filled with gasoline. No wonder it stinks. Man, that stuff stinks. Why is that? Gasoline does not smell good. that's going anywhere. This is Taco Stack's flow right now. Um, yeah, so I might have picked up a grill probably, or I might have passed up on a grill probably three times the size of that because there was no way I was going to fit that grill, but most importantly there was no way I was lifting that kind of grill. Is what it is. I will take that. That thing's actually probably worth more money in scrap than that other grill that's three times the size because that's actually cast aluminum. And all it takes is a couple, a couple swings with a hammer and a screwdriver. The thing pops right off. The top part, that is. Now I'm going to play the guessing game with which kind of paint did Larry want? All paint free. I have no idea what kind of paint he wanted. Wood stain. Mahogany wood stain, that might be all right. Some of these chemicals, I don't know what the heck about. Allentown paints. It's kind of a shame this thing's all rusty because that's kind of, I don't know, I'll grab it. Hey, if you need a trailer, this thing's 150 bucks. That's what it says on the side. Oh, this one's cool. Colors and oil. Oh. Oops. It's a paper label, but... Oil wood stain. I don't know. Alright, I'll grab these. I'm grabbing this one because it's kind of a cool label. This one I might use, but probably will never use, so therefore it'll just sit on the shelf. And that one's kind of local advertisement. I've never heard of Allentown Paints. Until today. Well, there's a lot of garbage up there. So it kind of stinks my van's full. And I get this question probably about once every two months when I do fill my van, but I'm still going to go trash pick. I'm going to still finish up this route. Um, why don't I bring a trailer? Well, it's once in a blue moon that we find as much stuff as we are right now. I also don't have a trailer hitch. Speaking of trailers, this thing's all packed on the trailer, so that's what I saw. Ah, the smell of oil and gas and whatnot. Great smell. 
looks like we have two chairs out here for scrap. Oh. Almost didn't grab these because. Space here, bud. You want a patio table and chairs? I, I might swing back tomorrow morning. I have no space. Okay. But yeah. Yeah, let us know. I mean, she wants some home. It's ground glass top. I mean, it's in decent condition. All right, appreciate it. Okay. Yep. Kind of amazing. I mean, this probably happens maybe once a year for me. I feel like it's always in the springtime. This town will pick up the whole shebang. Um, well, I really packed the van to the point where it's not even a matter of how you pack it, you just can't lift a lawnmower high enough into the van to put it on top of a grill. So, even if I would have laid the grills flat or laid them back to back, I literally do not have the strength haven't ate my Wheaties to lift a lawnmower and somehow some way put it on top of a grill it just the leverage you need to do it is just you need to be like a bodybuilder that or I don't know I just I just can't do it uh, so we're going to finish up like I said this route uh, I still have to go to the third town I will be back tomorrow morning the good thing is, like, everything that was at that spot, like, I'm going to go to a scrapyard in the morning. I don't know if I'll trash pick beforehand, because obviously I don't have much space. Here we have a ladder. Might be even broken. I oh, know, it's kind of, yeah, yeah, it looks a little broken. Looks a little too beat up anyway for me. It is the right color. I mean, granted, you can just paint it whatever color you want. Um... But like something like that lawnmower that was out for trash, the other stuff that was right next to it, I think there's a desk or some pieces of wood. The scrap metal will get recycled. I think with these, even with this garbage company is usually when they do their bulk pickup, they do not pick up anything that is metal. Um, and the metal usually will just go. Like somebody will find it and then just like scrap it. Be, I can almost guarantee you that lawnmower will not be there tomorrow morning. And it wouldn't be the garbage company that picked up. There'll be someone out here who does scrap. Uh, so that's always the good thing. But like I said, I'll, I'll probably be back in the morning. In fact, last year, I feel like last fall, they had a bunch of picture frames out. They had a really, really nice ornate one. And I'm pretty confident I sold it last week, two weeks ago, the flea market. So that wasn't too bad. This person has oh, it's a glass top wicker chair or wicker table. Most people have a whole bed frame, couch, one of those Ikea squares. Those square things are always nice. That one's in black. Usually they're in white. Haven't seen a gray one yet, but I'm pretty sure it's probably a gray one. This person has more scrap. I like, I, I just, it hurts to see this, but at the same time, I just, I know it's not going to be here tomorrow. Those look like aluminum also. A little, a little rough for me, but what are you going to do so right now i'm just kind of looking for any like really nice pieces i don't remember how the side of my um my van looks i know the back is pretty much 
donezo, but the side, I can't remember if I can open that door, if I can't open that door. Right. One of these parts has to be the catalytic converter. It's gotta be, right? That thing has to be. That's it? I don't know. That's gotta be it. I feel like an idiot for not knowing it, but... How the heck am I gonna fit this thing in there? I'm going to have to put you guys down here for a second. All right. Somehow I managed to fit that. There's more chairs. I think we got more chairs. I can't... I, <laughs> I don't know what I did there, but I just messed up something in my oblique. Oh. We'll find room for that. That is... I hate to break to you. I can't grab any more chairs. As much as I love the scrap game, I just can't. I can't. I just can't. Jeez, the wheeze. That's like. Granted, I think these are steel. Speaking of steel, like these chairs are steel. They're not aluminum. All right. That shocking turn of events. My camera ran out of battery, which not not too uh, doubtful on that one. This is the. Oh, buddy. This is the last of the Christmas house. And they have two televisions and what looks like some other stuff. And more other stuff. Torches passed. I don't know how that feel about that. Let's see what the heck is this? What oh, this thing stinks. Not something with presency. It's just nothing. Well, that stinks. I don't want that. Someone else has definitely been here, I feel like. That unfortunately those deer are broken. I don't really have space for it. For more scrap but we'll try to make space um yes in the last clip i did pick up this steel chainsaw which i'll probably show you at the end that stuff stinks um battery ran out so I had to charge it quick but we're in the last town probably talk a little bit more about this in the last clip but that might be the end of the Christmas house that might be it all right so yes the camera did die in fact maybe it's even over there let me check I did order a new camera last week that was a whole disaster in itself I can't explain how frustrated it was to deal with Amazon about ordering a camera See if it's there. It's not there. Anyway, I did order a new camera. I'm still rocking this broken camera, which it's not fun touching broken glass every time you want to turn the camera on. But, you know, you live a little, you, you, you feel a little pain. It is what it is. Um, yeah, today was an awesome day of treasure hunting. I will say this. I do want to go back out right now and go fill up my van again with more stuff. Unfortunately, that is not going to happen because I have not eaten or ate uh, at all today besides a banana and an iced coffee. And considering I've been going now for about 12 and a half, 13 hours straight, because uh, I did the flea market this morning at 4 o'clock, and right now it's about 4.30, 5 o'clock, I feel like once I eat, I'm not going to want to go back out. And I feel like I should probably eat more than a banana and a medium iced coffee. So I got myself a sandwich, and I'm going to enjoy it. Um, so once this van is unloaded, once I eat, I still have to edit a video, do my own errands, and all sorts of fun adulthood stuff. Also on top of that, my neighbors all decide they want to mow their lawn. So I have now the adult peer pressure of I should mow my lawn as well. That is not happening. I'll do that tomorrow. With that said, wow, what a day it was. So I did, or I did find some more things. Uh, that I didn't get on camera because, like I said, my camera died. I was charging it as I was driving around. I did show that. This is some sort of automotive analyzer from Sears. It's in there. It looks like it was never used. Um, I did also pick up this steel, which there was a bunch of chairs and stuff. And I have a feeling when I go back out tomorrow, if I don't go back out tonight, uh, because by the time I'm done with everything else, it's probably going to be like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. And, well, I don't know if I really should be going out trash picking. 
at eight o'clock or nine o'clock, I might as well just do it in the morning. Um, but I did, I did find myself a steel weed whacker. This one, however, is not a very expensive one. One of the big things you can look at is the shaft on it. Usually it's a straight shaft. Those are kind of more of the commercial models or the higher. Oh, this is going to be fun. This one's also missing the head on it, so that doesn't really help. Um, but yeah, this has a, a bent shaft, as they call it. Uh, some people call it a curved shaft. But yeah, this I will not scrap this, but I'll probably want to get like $15 for it, if that, in its current condition. It's not one that if it was like a straight shaft, I might be able to get like 40 or 50 in its same condition. So that was cool. Um, like I said, I'll probably take out all this metal because I want to go back out tomorrow morning or later on today, probably tomorrow morning, and hopefully fill up the van again. I did grab this piece, which I thought maybe that's the catalytic converter at the end. I believe that's the muffler. Something in here reeks so bad. I think it's that other... I don't know. It smells like just not great. Um, but I don't know what I'm looking at. I mean, obviously, it's an exhaust system of something. I'm not a mechanic by any means. If you guys have not figured that out by now, I am not. So I will go ahead and be a knucklehead and try to figure that one out. I am probably completely wrong with that. But my favorite find... I did have more space here. That's a mistake that I made, but... It is what it is, right? I didn't want to fill the van to the top and the brim in case I found like two or three more of these kind of items. Surprisingly, for bulk pickup day in that town, it was pretty much just metal. Uh, this I did not find in that town, but I did find this. Oh, almost lost my step there. Hopefully this thing doesn't, it's old box. I don't know if this is the original box. It's even got the label on it from 1944. All right. But check out that beauty. I don't know how old this is. That's in mint shape. Oh, it even has the brush. Holy smokes. I don't think I've ever seen it with the brush. And that thing is mint. First $300, got it. All right, anyone wants to buy 300 bucks, it's on the table. Just kidding, I'll probably keep it for myself. But if anyone wants to give me 300 bucks, these things are hot now, and with the uh, the brush, you're probably not going to find a lot of them in mint condition. So, yeah, like I said, probably go out tomorrow morning, if not later today, but it's been an awesome day. I have to unload all this stuff, hopefully eat my sandwich, hopefully edit a video, and at some point not pass out, take a nap, get the itis, as a lot of people call it. Some people call it itis, other things. Some people call that the itis. It is what it is. Anyway, fun day all around. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button. Subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. As always, until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.